This video is going to teach you how to get weapon XP as fast as possible with three different independent methods. So the first method is the invasion method. You've probably seen this one before, but I do want to confirm that it still works after the patch. The best way to complete this method is set up your loadout with cold-blooded, ghost and a suppressor if possible and you also want to have a tactical insertion as well. Straight off the bat you want to basically flank the enemy spawn with a vehicle or on foot personal preference there make sure you get to a spot where you can see the helicopters land in for the enemy team ai and basically camp there as long as possible killing the enemy ai and racking up the xp you want to make sure you hide your tactical insertion well so you can spawn again and again in the same area as this is going to allow you to get those easy kills and ghost and cold-blooded will keep you off of any kill streaks as well as the mini map the next method is a spec ops method so you want to load into the mount zaya mission here and you do want to make sure you've got a teammate available to help you out on this one they can kind of be afk to some extent whilst you complete this method now once you've actually loaded into the mission you want to go to the wall select a weapon that you haven't fully maxed out yet now you can only use the weapons that are available on this wall which is a bit unfortunate is turn around and run towards the edge of the map now what you want to do is make sure your teammate or your friend that you're playing with is essentially going off the edge of the map and basically killing themselves and every time they do that you basically want to revive them every single time basically every time you revive your teammate you are getting weapon xp in the background so that is what this revive glitch is allowing you to do now, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to try to reach our goal of 50k subscribers. But an extra special tip for this glitch is that if you go under this tree right here, which is basically near that slope that you've just been seeing, you can actually basically make your teammates spam out constantly and they don't need to press anything on their controller so they can actually be AFK whilst you're doing this. Now if that doesn't work all you need to do is put some cell tape on your analog stick and that will also help out too and it'll basically do the exact same thing allowing your teammate to go and do something else whilst you're leveling up your weapon just make sure you return the favour. The last and final method is on the ground war game mode and this is probably the simplest one out of all of them to do. And the great bonus with this method is that you can actually do it solo this time once again. With this method, the first thing you want to do is spawn in the large helicopter. This has got tons of hills so you survive as long as possible. And what you want to do is basically be in a safe area that your teammates can spawn in on. Every time your teammate spawns in, you get 25 XP. And this counts towards your weapon XP as well. And you can basically last the whole game doing this. It is a bit boring as a method, but overall it still works extremely well if you don't want to think about it too much. Or if you're getting someone else to play it for you, that's probably the best thing to do here. And you'll basically get three to four weapon levels in a single game. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe and thank you very much for watching.